Hey everyone, I read another five babies in this club book, so I just wanted to do a wrap up. And the first one was Dawn's Wicked Stepsister. And this is a continuation from Marianne and the Great Romance. I mean, I've never had a book continue into another one from the Babies in this Club book, but this is one. And in this one, Dawn and, ha- and Marianne have to adjust to being stepsisters. The whole family has to adjust, really. And the Pikes is sick, and it brings challenges to the family and the Babies in this Club members. So this one was just a basic, quick three stars. And then there's Christine, the C- Secret of Susan. This one is my least favorite book of the series so far, and I'm giving it two stars. I was so disappointed. And in this one, Christine takes a regular babysitting job with Susan, a young girl with autism. The plus side is that Christine tries learning more about autism and becomes more aware of handicapped people, and she does a lot of research trying to learn more about Susan. The downfall, the big downfall, is that Susan is ret- um, referred to as retarded, or retarded is referenced about 20 times in this book. And it was really frustrating. I know at the time, maybe it was more socially acceptable to be doing that, but I'm st- I was never okay with it, even then. Even when I read it as a kid, but it's really disappointing to expose kids to those words. And from the end, I picked up Claudia and the Great Search. And in this one, I'm giving it three stars. Claudia doesn't see any baby ch- pictures on her birth announcements, and she just feels like she's not part of the family. Janine is so smart, her parents are smart, and she- Claudia is autistic and no one is. So she starts thinking she's adopted, and she starts doing research. And then Claudia also starts helping Emily Michelle, which is Christy's adopted sister. And she helps her since she's language delayed. And it started out with just babysitting. She was teaching her with colors. And then Christy's mom really wanted her to help as like a regular thing. And she does that. And Emily Michelle gets a little bit better and is closer to being accepted at um, preschool. And then there was Millian and Too Many Boys. And in this one, uh, Millian and Stacy go back as mothers helpers with the Pikes to Sea City for two weeks. And it doesn't... I always enjoy the Sea City books, but it's definitely not in order, even though it was in the right publication order, but it's not someone at the time. But I still enjoy them. I gave it um, three stars, I believe. And in this one... Alex and Toby in the back as well, and Vanessa has a secret crush, and Mary Ann realizes that she might like both Alex and Logan, so what should she do? And again, Stacy disappears and is unfair to Mary Ann, which is so frustrating because Stacy was always one of my favorite characters, and I hate it when she does stuff like that. And the last book I read was Stacy and the Mystery of Stony Brook. I'm giving it a low three stars, and in this one, um, Charlotte Johansson comes to stay with Stacy and her mom for a week while her parents are in the way helping the, helping her grandpa. And there's also this mysterious house, this one, that is being torn down and they think there's a mystery and like a ghost with it. So it explores that a little bit and that's pretty much all it is. Like in a middle grade mystery I guess it's okay but I always want more than a little mystery. For me, it was a little flat. Uh, Alright, that's it. I was hoping to get to the super st- special number four, but I just ran out of time. So I'm hoping to get another seven Baby Sins Club books read before the end of the month. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and have a great day.